Brothers, I, I wish I could be there with you in Chicago to celebrate and honor the continued good work of the Lambda Theta Phi Foundation and fraternity. I'm often asked, who are the Latino leaders of our future? Who are the members of the Latino community who will help to lead our country? Well, look around the room. You're already showing your leadership and concern for your communities through the work you do. If it wasn't clear enough before, the past year has vividly shown us all how the doors of opportunity have swung wide open for Latinos in our great nation. Many of you have charged through those doors. Many Lambdas are getting ready to do the same, and I'm so happy to see that. As we all know, our nation is facing enormous challenges, and many in the Latino community are facing the toughest times of their lives. The Latino unemployment rate is higher than the national average. The Latino high school dropout rate is the highest of any group. And the rate of uninsured Latinos is also the highest of any group. But we've also entered a new era of optimism and opportunity, which was solidified by the historic elections of last November. No matter who you voted for, it was an inspiration to see the barriers that were broken by the election of Barack Obama, particularly to our nation's minorities. And President Obama, along with countless elected officials on the state and local levels, owe their victories in no small part to the unprecedented Latino participation in the democratic process. I've said many times that the 2008 elections were when the sleeping giant of our electoral process awoke. The road to the White House, as well as to so many of our state houses and city halls, ran through the Latino community. It wasn't just how intense the Latino vote was. It was also where the Latino vote existed, in the biggest states and in the swing states that helped decide the election. Because of this electoral power, the Latino community is now equipped with real political power. Candidates have to show they understand that the Latino agenda fits squarely in an overall American agenda. That securing jobs, education, and health care for Latinos is about the securing the future of our country. Increasingly, we're seeing elected officials who've recognized this, and we're seeing a policy agenda that reflects these issues. Just this year in Congress, we've taken bold action to address job losses and the economic crisis, and we're working hard towards a long overdue reform of our health care system. Immigration reform is on the table for this Congress, and the opportunity to get something done is better than ever. And we're seeing the highest levels of our government begin to more closely resemble what America looks like on the ground. Ken Salazar and Hilda Solis are valued members of President Obama's cabinet. And I will soon have the opportunity to cast a vote to confirm the most highly qualified Supreme Court nominee in many decades. Did I mention she happens to be a, a Latina? Judge Sotomayor. This is the promise of America being realized. This is the doors of opportunity thrown wide open. This is the future that Lambdas will occupy. As a brother of Lambda Theta Phi, it's my pleasure to congratulate all of the members of the fraternity and wish you the best as you continue to connect Latinos across the country, as you continue to uphold the values that our community holds dear, and as you help build unity among the next generation of Latino leaders. Your work truly embodies the principle of en la unión está la fuerza. Gracias y buenas noches.